to uh, install the uh, arm for the gate. This main uh, part got to operate the gate to open and close. Um, so because the total weight of the gate is 125 kilograms when it's open installed uh, with the chaining net on it, leave it up 90 degrees all the way vertical uh, with that uh, heavy load. So the arm have to be very very strong and sturdy. And that's why it become a very important part on the gate. Also when it closed, and remember when it closed out, it have to pull all the uh, load of the gate. The more distance from the center point to the other side, that you add more weight into the arm. So calculation, the total force is up to 250 uh, kg when it starts to pull 45 degrees uh, up. That's where the load is most heavy. So that is the main part. And this two piece is a secondary part to combine with this and the arm to operate the uh, open and close the gate. From here, we install this to support the gate frame and it's a 316 thickness and also add up with this one 316 so that the level right now is a two piece of the 316 thickness from the frame. So that meaning if we want to make it level also we have to add up this one up to the same thickness of this. And that's why we make it two pieces. So the first piece is we'll be welding into uh, the main frame and support from the outside. And that is where the very heavy load on it. The secondary support. And also make the um, the welding surface to the main arm is larger because it larger will be better. Uh, and also it make the same level of this and this will be support on this. That's how it will be installed in. And right now we have 316 thickness from the uh, frame and then this will be one more 316 thickness that will make exactly the same design. 316 and the other 316 right here. And this right, right now we have the primary support outside and this one will be the secondary support inside. So it might the support more uh, sturdy. Here we have to weld in this side first and then weld this side second. However, we have to keep this one smooth surface. And then after that, we turn this piece to this and welding from the bottom to the frame. And also that's what we were welding from here to here. Make sure the surface when we're welding, it not overcome. The surface have to be flat just like this and we're welding this side the same thing too after welding we have a u-shape like this uh, connect into the frame to give the same thickness and it extend more surface to contact with the main arm and also it um, should not support the outside but it also add in the secondary support to the frame from inside so then when it open up the mode pressure is from outside, but when it starts to dropping down, the mode pressure is not from outside, but from the inside. So when it, it, it the gate, it operates from zero degree to 90 degree. That's where the distribute of the force it, to be from outside to inside. And, and when it closed from inside to outside, then that's why we need that both pieces to support the arm. And here, it uh, the arm. These are two feet length, and and the thickness of this one is um, one quarter. The thickness of this is one quarter, and this is a three and a half inches. So this is usually they call four. So we're using it four by four by two feet. That's our main arm. And that's going to be driving all the gate up 
open and close. Um, so the tricky on this one is uh, where we uh, going to use the central point to swing up and down. Of course, when this one swing up, it does it 90 degree open, and then when it swing down to zero degree, that's where the gate close. After calculation and research, um, the central point is the best to be uh, 18 inches from outside and 6 inches from the end of the gate coming. So we have this one is uh, installed like this. I'm just using the carton to hold them temporary together. So we have that. The distance between the bottom of the gate to the ground is the best. It will be uh, eight inches, you know, eight inches. So we have from the ground up to the gate is that much. So that's where the bottom frame gate will be about the ground in eight inches. This I get from the Princess Auto, the bushing. And inside here, we're going to using one inch diameter shaft to drive on, on up and down the gate. And of course, we need two of them. One from this side and one from the other side. And that will be the shaft to this. And the uh, diameter of the shaft will be one inch because of the holes open here is uh, one inch. Right now, we have this is uh, 18 inches. And then we know that from here to here we have eight, eight inches from the the crowd. So then we have eleven inches plus eight inches at 19, 19 inches. From center point here we have eighteen inches. So that meaning when it turns this one all the way up, we still have one more inches from the crowd. So this one won't touch the crowd because it's you can open this one even more further than to ninety degree up. Measurement from here to here that in even inches, so that's where I mark it. Now we have the line from here to the center, and then we just install this one in exactly at where it marks. So the right now from here to here is in even inches, 19 inches from the center point to the ground, and from here to the end of this, it's just 18 inches. And that meaning when it's done, we have. Mm, Thing like this. Outside here, then you can see it easy. That is the main one inch drop. The sharp will go through here. And this hold together by four holes already have. We just threw it out and then put the nut and the hold together. We doesn't even have to weld it. That's going to be the best way to do it. This just for hold the rod and the arm together but to hold the support all the heavy load that of course the ball bearing we will do that not this one not this part this part will be steadily together with the arm in one part so so far this is the section we come up to this and later on we start to uh, install in the post that could be the next video thank you for watching